Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I'm Golden Monza. You're the online viewer, and we are about to play just a little bit more of Imperador to Rome. So let's get into our struggle bus tutorial challenge here. And it looks like they're showing us a lot of the same um, thumbnails that they were showing us before regarding what we're going to be doing in the tutorial. So we're just going to skip through all that. So for those of you who weren't with us last time, we we're kind of working our way through these, um, <clears throat> through these uh, missions, I guess you could say, over here on the left-hand side. And we just left off building all of our troops, constructing all of our training camps, and kind of putting our first navies together and everything like that. In fact, I think we totally forgot to put our first navy together. So that's probably what we should do first to build the 12 triremes. So if we go over here, we have four. We want to build more. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll build six triremes over here. And I'll build another six over here so that <clears throat> not all of our navy so that we kind of have two navies going that is if rome has more access to the sea i think we don't because of sipontum blocks us and i could put triremes here which it looks like maybe i did last episode and forgot about build units one two three four five six triremes are being built over here I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I totally am very new to Paradox games, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing here. It looks like I already built these triremes. I don't know why they're not showing up in unit construction in our outliner here. It says we're building five in Neapolis, which is down here. That makes sense to me. But it says we're building a shit ton over here, which one, two, three, four, five, six. I can't even count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's hard to count because I can't scroll. How about this? How about I just start over? I go and build these triremes now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm building six here. <coughs> and so I don't need to build so many over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six and six, that makes 12. All right, so we're ready to start the time here. Let's do it. Boom. So we need to get to our diplomacy. I think we're fabricating a claim against Sab Sabina, but I do not remember. Let's check our covert actions. We have a diplomat en route who will get there October 31st. So in, boom, just got there today. And I guess the claim has been fabricated. Where are our? Where is our army? Let's get him up here. So he's ready to fight. Still building units. So I think we're gonna wait a little bit before we go ahead and attack Sabinia. <coughs> All right. So it looks like we can afford a new invention. Oh, we can afford a bunch of inventions because they all cost a hundred, and we have about a thousand here from our civic power so let's pause this real quick and this is what we should do number one you see this little skull here below our cohort so that means our cohorts taking attrition and it looks like attrition unit weight is 29.4 and the supply limits 28 so we're taking attrition because basically this tile can only supply for 28 and we just have our unit weight is more than that so maximum five percent in this location so what we can do is split part of our army because we have even more troops marching in and it looks like ostia we have a bunch of troops marching in so this is what we should do i think these guys only have 8,000 men so if we split our army in half which is that button right there. And then we click on this. We take this unit of 13,000. 
and we march it over here we should be able to kind of split our forces up and take Sabinia pretty quickly because we're gonna take Sabinia so quickly I think we could go ahead and fabricate our next claim which is Sipontum oh wait no we want to improve our relationships with Sipontum So, okay, let's improve our relationship with Sapontum. We can open diplomacy. I don't know where Sapontum is, so I can't cheat and click on him. Gotta look him up the old fashioned way. So let's scroll down here and see where Sapontum is. Okay, so Sapontum, Sapontum, Sapontum. All right, let's scroll. So, K L M N O P Q R S. I know my alphabets. Let's see where we are here. I think I know my alphabet. Q R S. Okay. And we want Sapontum. Am I? Did I not spell their name wrong? Did I not spell their name right? S I. Sipontum. Okay. So, they're right here. There is about 4,000 troops. I really want this because they have a port on this side of Italy, which I feel like having a port on the uh, west side of... the east side of Italy, sorry, will be, like, really good for me if I want to expand in the future. I know it's just a tutorial, but I can't help it. I'm a strategy gamer at heart. So, I think our goal is to actually either... Make Sapontum like us or take them over? Yeah, so we could conquer them. If you find they will not heed your attempts to make Francis' objective, will be completed if you conquer them. Or we could approve the, uh, use approve opinion. I think for the sake of the tutorial, let's try this improve opinion button. And we have crap tons of oratory power. <laughs> Okay, so we just did that. And the diplomat will get there in January. Okay, so we have that. We don't have a commander for our secondary army. So let's stick some guy in charge. We could change the commander here. Old man, old man, old man, old man. Young blood right here. Little boy. And he's a member of the military faction. I think he's coming up. This guy's 21. He's religious, so I don't know. He's a populist. We have a lot of choices, but I, I like to pick young people because then they could kind of grow. Like, in Total War, back in the Total Wars where you had options of which commander you would pick, I tried to pick the younger ones. That way... Um, actually, in the modern Total Wars, you have to pick which commander for your army. I like to pick younger guys because then they won't age out and die and I won't like lose all the progress that I kind of put on them. So it looks like I have a disloyal character because her loyalty is below 33%. Oh, no, no, no. They have a loyalty below 33%, which looks like they're, which means they're looking to start a civil war. I don't want a civil war. Whose loyalty is it? Gnaeus Flavius, this guy. Oh, what can I do with him? I can imprison him. Okay party leader or family head. He's a party leader, so I can't really imprison him. I could give him money. His monthly wage will go up, but his loyalty will creep up. Well, his loyalty is not that low, and I don't see what's wrong with having... I could just make friends with him, and it costs oratory power, and it's free... So, why not? Or I could bribe them, but I don't want to increase corruption. 54 money? I'm, I have a lot of money, but I have a little negative sign, which gives me the impression that I'm losing money every turn, or every day, or whatever. So, maybe... I wish I could imprison them. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can imprison him, but it will destabilize my nation, and I want it. I want my nation to be stable. 
Looks like it's totally stable, but we're about to go to go to a bunch of wars, so let's try and keep it stable. Let's, I guess, uh, uh, let's give him a stipend. Okay, unused trade routes in the city. I have two unused trade routes. So, um, what do I need? That's a good question. What do I need? I have this. I have everything. So I don't know what to trade for because I have everything. But I guess. Let's make my art army maintenance cheaper. I think that'll be really good. Since we're losing money. And since our army's about to be so big. Alright, inventions. We can have four new inventions. Since we have 10,000... Uh... Ooh. I know, I need to run this. Um... Let's make these guys have better starting experience. And let's make Fabricate Clinic cheaper. That's going to be good. Uh, let's get technology faster. I don't know if we want that. Oh, tr output looks good. Property tax will get me more money, which is good. Okay, it looks like I could pretty much afford all of these, which is cool, except for one. So let's increase our omen power and let's increase that. And then I guess we'll get the other stuff later. Military tradition, I could afford one of these because I have 800. Since we're about to go to war and since we're Rome, I think heavy infantry is the way to go. So let's go with that. Heavy infantry discipline plus 10%. Okay, and scorned families. We have a lot, so I'm not going to worry about them. <laughs> um, that guy is low, but we already handled it. We're building stuff. We're good. Rome's good. Rome's growing. Let's hit the macro builder and maybe build some more marketplaces to help with our economy. Yeah, if I'm, like, doing this horrifically... Please, someone who's a veteran of these games, come let me know. In Hearts of Iron, I would just click random places. <laughs> oh, I would almost build place things randomly. Um, if not for my, at least in Hearts of Iron, I was worried about getting bombed or something like that. Or attacked, but that doesn't seem to be too much of an issue here. So, I'm just doing crap randomly. Hopefully that works. Oh, okay. We were going to fabricate a claim. Uh, let's fabricate a claim against Eutria, because we get 10,000 people after we destroy them. And we want to take the highlighted Eutrian cities. They're all highlighted? Oh, no, it's just this area. So let's fabricate a claim against Eutria, too. Real quick, since we have the extra oratory power, let's click on Eutria. Relations, nah. Covert, fabricate a claim against the province of... It doesn't highlight the province. Oh, okay, but it will take you to them. But I can't see which province is which. What is this, a back button? Okay, that's cool. That's useful. I can't see which province is which, so I don't know what I'm fabricating a claim against. Zoom 2, but it's, un it's all under here. I just know that this is probably the island. And I can't move this. Or at least I don't know how. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. If there's a way, if there's a better way that I'm missing, please let me know in the comments. But for now, I guess, let's just go ahead. I guess against... This is the city of Vakal. Just tells you the names of the cities. It doesn't tell you the provinces. Okay. 
I'll just fabricate a claim against Eutria. Um, and as soon as this army is over here, I'm gonna declare war. So let's open up the diplomacy, click over here in Sabinia, get ready to declare war on them. I'm gonna speed up the speed a little bit. Okay, they're probably in war. Um, we're gonna declare war. We're gonna take Pissinum. Declare war on Sabina using the da 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 da. Forcing this through the Senate will increase tyranny by five. Is Senate not for it? Did we not fabricate a claim against them? We already did. Oh, can I only fabricate one claim at a time? Volcanic destruction? A large rumbling sound is the only warning our people receive before Vesuvius erupts, spouting large amounts of ash and lava all across the nearby city of Trumpei in Nusaria. Several of our cities in the vicinity of the volcano is ruined? Is ruined and damaged by the are ruined and damaged by the eruption? And we are given a report of a huge number of casualties, with Pompeii almost entirely buried by volcanic ash and lava. Some have started wondering if this is a punishment sent by the gods. Of course we gotta help the survivors. Alright, we now have a claim on Eutria. I don't know who that guy is. We have a diplomat on route. Let's declare war. Let's take Eutria. Yes, confirm. Okay, so no Senate issues here. So now I'm going to pause real quick because they're on the move. I'm going to send this army over here to attack. I'm going to send this army right here. Or at least I'm going to slow down time is what I'm going to do. But I'm going to run it. And so... What do we have here? We have boats. They're sailing over there. Oh, because I guess the boats can get made wherever you want. I could get an invention. So I'll get that one. And there's a battle. So let's go watch it because battles are lit. Where is this battle? I don't see where it is. Oh, it's over here. I guess this is an ally of mine who's marching against them too. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're winning. Okay, so we just finished a bunch of granaries and marketplaces. So that's awesome. We're fighting these guys over here. We were victorious, so we fought them already. We have a higher martial skill. I don't know what the die roll is. Terrain penalty. But we have... The modifier. War exhaustion. Game by room. War exhaustion. He gets a little popularity for winning. Tight. Okay. So this guy is kind of holding this region. And it looks like we annex this region of Sabina. Sabina. Uh oh, too late. Looks like they just made a new unit. It's gonna take them a month to walk there. It's crazy. Okay, so we're victorious. And it looks like this guy's in jail. Imprisoned by Rome. Okay. So we could do stuff with him now that he's in jail. These are his traits. We could execute him. It costs 20 religious power. I almost said mana. <laughs> I guess it's kind of almost the same thing. And Rome gets two tyranny. Uh, I don't want tyranny. Because we're already dealing with aggressive expansion. We can banish him. His family loses prestige. And they get banished to Picentia, which I think we're about to get. And we get plus one tyranny, so whatever. We can flog him. 
Lose, loses loyalty and health. We can release him. I don't want him in our character pool. So releasing him basically says, if no home country exists, or the prisoners from your own country, they will join your character pool. Hell no. Hell no. Nah. He's an enemy faction. I want to get rid of him. But I can't without getting a little bit of tyranny. I don't really see the point in flogging him. Because it just hurts me. I lose popularity. And he loses loyalty. Why would I want to lose popularity and have someone hate me? Smear his reputation, but who cares? But we don't have to do anything with him. So I'll just say, okay, for now. And we captured him, and that's done. And so, I guess... We're occupying that, we're occupying that. We're winning, we're winning, we're winners. This is all Carthage. We have Eutria out here, who we are about to go to war with next. <clears throat> Let's set up these tutorial objectives. So we have our army of 30 cohorts. Excellent. Now Rome has an army befitting her stature. Over the course of gameplay, you will see events pop up from time to time. The various options will often include interesting effects or choices. If you hold your mouse over the option button at option button at the the bottom of this window you will see that your army will benefit from a combat modif modifier as a reward for completing this objective tight 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 we get Roma Invicta 10% morale and discipline to the end of the game that's lit choosing sides as many of the more veteran members of our blessed political institution know youth is a wonderful state of joy ex experience and most importantly gullibility Quintus Martius Philippus has recently emerged fresh face onto the political scene, espousing the rhetoric of the military faction. Like vultures to a corpse, those desperate to sway Quintus to their cause have descended each have descended, each using their cunning to try and recruit him. Perhaps it behooves our council to step in and show Quintus the true path. Or we could lose oratory power, or we could let Quintus gain sixty conviction for the religious faction. Well, why would we want to lose oratory power? Oh, if we don't interfere, he'll join the religious faction. But if we interfere, he'll join the civic faction, which I will assume is ours, and we'll lose some oratory power. Let's do that. Let's. We have so much oratory power, it doesn't even matter. So 12 triremes, we don't have it yet. We constructed the training camp, so now your cities will produce more power and fill the armies of Rome. The next mission involves learning about trade routes, so we've added another one for you in your capital province of Latium. That's perfect. We're already important fish. The people of Rome are now receiving the fish you have imported. Other trade goods have a variety of different bonuses that you could harness. We recommend you take a moment to check them out in the trade goods screen you used before, which we already did by accident. We bought an invention, so shazam! Now your country is even more capable than before. As your technology level progresses, different inventions will be added to the random pool that populates the invention list. Oh, cool. I didn't know it was random. Oh, so that's very much like Stellaris, actually. Expect to see some interesting things popping up over time. You may have noticed that various events pop up over time as well. These often contain interesting choices to make. Often these events can target characters within your realm as well as your country itself. For instance, the reward for this mission permanently adds to the martial ability of your ruler. Tight, tight, tight. Gain plus one. So we're going to be at eight. Um, all right, and we've almost conquered Sabini. Uh, so our guy's good here, actually. And since we've almost conquered Sabini, I wonder if it's bad form to go ahead and start fabricating a claim against... Oh, we already have. Oh, I just did. I didn't even mean to. I was just thinking about it. Wow, okay. 
So it looks like we have our boats, but we're missing one trireme, which is about to be done. Um, so let's build some stuff, I think. Let's build some stuff. They gave us this awesome macro builder. So hold on, let's pause for a second. Let's build some stuff. So, manpower. Rome gains 242 each month and will lose 323 men to attrition this month. So, we need more manpower. And also, we need more money because our money is going down. So, what can get us more manpower and more money? We can promote a population. We can promote slaves. What do we promote them to? Freemen, I guess. We could promote tribesmen to freemen, or we could promote slaves to freemen. So they're the same. I wonder what the difference between tribesmen and slaves are. Citizens can't be promoted. Promoting freemen to citizens gives me research and commerce, but <sighs> I don't know. Convert people. Hellenic. Are we Hellenic? We don't have like a Latin culture. We could assimilate people into Roman, but who cares? Oh, well, we can only do it in pretty limited areas. We can't just... It's already Roman. But it doesn't look like there are any benefits, so I don't really care about that. Uh, import trade goods. Okay, uh, so for now, I think since we need man manpower, this is what we should do. We should build some training camps, which we will do everywhere. And since this is the last one, I'll put a marketplace here, but we also need money. Um, can I build more marketplaces? Too few people, too few people, too few people. Okay, but does tr building training camps increases my manpower for the military? But how do I get more people? Boom. The granary. The granary. Which is only local population growth. Okay. So let's build a couple of those. Alright, obviously I have... Not much of an idea of what I'm doing here. But I think we're winning because we totally decimated the Sabini. Not that they were particularly hard to begin with, but whatever. Um, I think next thing's next. We're gonna have to get ready to march against the... Um, we're gonna need to get ready to march against the Etruscans and Utria up here. So... Um... Yeah, so right here, it looks like they're, that's our, oh, okay, ooh, oh, it's a nurse, okay, so this looks like our army, this is how our army fights in a battle, and we could choose, we could turtleneck, decept, bottleneck, deception, skirmish, envelop, or shock, and so, over here, I don't know what this does, oh, so this is good against, and this is bad against. So shock is good against envelopment and whatever, Padma Vuya, whatever that is. It's not an option for us. Um, neither is the Fox, neither is Triple Aces. But what is this? Tactic effectiveness with your current composition. This is how effectiveness would be. So we're good at bottlenecking and we're good at deception. We're a little better at deception, so let's do some of that deception stuff. And this army looks like it's set for bottlenecking or shocking. A little bit better at bottlenecking, so let's do some of that bottlenecking. Yeah, let's do some of that bottlenecking. Okay, and we can select unit objectives too. Independent operations, defend borders, fight rebels, reconnaissance, keep in reserve. Look 
reconnaissance, sweep and report enemy movements in the vicinity, fight rebels, defend borders. But they won't conquer for me, huh? Unless I set up independent operations. So maybe I should do that, but for now let me run this trimer so I can end the war with the uh, Sabini. We have all these things growing. Sabinia, oh look, it down here we have the first Roman Sabinian war. Looks like they're at m the war enthusiasm is medium. It's lit for us, very high because you know we're winning. We have a current war score of 75. It doesn't say, or it doesn't seem to say how much war score we need to win. Just went up to 76. So maybe, maybe we, there isn't a certain sort of war score we need to win. Maybe we could sue for peace whenever we want. We are ready. Oh, okay. War girl in force. The war girl has not been occupied long enough yet. It is only providing a bonus of plus 6 to attackers when they need plus 25. Uh, okay. So, basically, to win, we have to hit our war goal here. And so, we have to hold Utria for a certain amount of time. We have to take Utria, which we've taken. New baby, that's lit. For a certain amount of time so we could hit our war goal but it looks like we're moving there but it's kind of slow but we're still moving there probably because we don't have this yet tribal migration we are pleased to find a great number of tribesmen across the border from the samnium settled in the city where they shall serve as well i don't know where that place is i wish there was a little magnifying glass but it's not a big deal is it now so the siege is won my consul. The siege lasted let me pause. The siege lasted 253 days before the garrison finally succumbed to hunger and disease. Rome now controls the province. The garrison were allowed to march out. Pluvius earned 1.4 popularity. Let's go to location. You see, that's how it should work. When I click magnifying glasses, I should go, it should be a little light over around the thing, and I should see it. Right? Before when we were with the trust with Utriska or Utriskia, whatever. Utria, Etri, Etri, whatever. I don't know. When we were there, it didn't do that for us, so it wasn't as good. But okay, so it looks like the war is won. Let's see our scores at 100%. Total victory. It looks like it's a maybe a zero to 100 scale. Maybe it goes negative. Won't find out because I'll never lose. We haven't hit the war goal yet. I don't know what that means that we haven't hit the war goal yet. Does that mean we win the war by default? Cause it was just telling us we had a total victory. We got the 12 triremes, so let's say onwards. But we haven't conquered Sabinia yet. But it looks pretty conquered to me. Let's press play, see what happens. We've got 15 ships here, which I guess will be useful when we attack the Etruscans. We could kind of take these areas. We could take this area, this island over over here. We got a minister of excellence, Quintus Fabius Gurgus, and a fine display of financial acumen has made significant alterations to the national budget. We should expect to see much better revenue this year. Thank you. He deserves to reap the rewards himself. Loyalty, and he gets 100. Excellent national tax plus 10%. I should reward him on the side. I need that tax money because we, our monthly balance is going down and our attrition rate is hurting us too. The weight, supply limit 16. The weight with the legion is 34, so it's way too high. Okay, we gotta march this legion out of here because he's taking a lot of attrition. Alright, a bunch of training camps were just built. Maybe that'll help with our manpower issues, but it doesn't. 
look like it's helping enough and we're still losing money I don't know what to do macro builder there's really nothing else I can build so it looks like I just kind of have to conquer my way out of this issue so that's what we'll do let's first let's check out technology nothing's available we're almost there anyway I guess next things next let's just go to war with the uh, uh, Etrurians and so maybe I should build a little force just like a little military unit even though I'm losing men to go over on the triremes to that to that island 20 to recruit a thousand manpower they all cost a thousand except for the boats it looks like time to recruit don't care about that monthly cost to remain maintain okay not too too bad let's build cheap stuff I'll build three of these I'll build three principes because I like heavy units I'll build three villites and we'll call it a day what I really should have done actually was clicked on this gone down to build units I should really only build one unit and then have the other in the surrounding area build the rest so actually I should put a fourth I'll build a and then okay so now that I have an army here what I'll do is I'll recruit to this army one two three one two three one two three and it looks like the game will naturally when you recruit the, to the army over here the game in the outliner the game will naturally uh, diversify where it's recruiting units from to make the shortest unit construction time possible so like if you build 10 units in one location it might take 10 months but if you build 10 units across 10 locations it might take one month to build the same amount of men um, if that makes sense to people and so all right let's go to war because these guys are taking attrition somebody doesn't have a commander let's change the commander um, he's kindly but he's 34 52 45 51 let's get these young bloods in here oh you know what forget the young bloods this guy's loyal but it's probably because he's me so I don't want to be my own ruler who's the next loyal this guy he's 45 but you know what I'm gonna start rewarding my friends I think I've been making a mistake here so next things next war with Etruria we're going to take Etruria and we're going to say okay and we're going to confirm and then we're going to hit this and now we're going to stop real quick because we're going to tell our armies to go on independent operations but I do want this army to take this place because it looks like they're building a training camp and I don't want them to do that. Of course I want them to do that. So I'll march him here and then I'll tell him independent operations. I'll march this guy here and I'll also tell him to go on independent operations. Independent operations. Oh, okay. Well, okay, since they can't. And then I'll put this army on this boat here if I can. Alright, I think I know how to put an army on the boat, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to struggle bust through that real quick. Let's see if I'm right with this. Now I can put them on the boat. So the boat has to be at sea already. You can't put them on a boat when the boat's at port, which is very strange to think about. But I'm not here to ask questions. Um, so I'm going to... Oh, they're dying on the boat. Oh no, they're dying on the boat. Okay, so I'm going to put the boat over here. And put the army on that island so they could take over that island um, in the meantime it looks like these guys are taking places over for me 
I don't know where this army's going. Oh, they're going in a bad direction. I don't want them to do that. Looks like the Utrians have about 19,000. Guys, foreigner arrives from Hellenistic city, state of Sepontum. Okay, that's cool, because I'm trying to make Sepontum my friend. I can't forget about that mission. So let's go over here. Diplomacy, let's click on our, body, our buddy Sepontum and see what's up. Are they our friend yet? <laughs> Okay, their opinion of us is plus 10. Our goal is to get their opinion of us to be... a 100. Wow. It'd be way easier to just take them over. And I've already said I want this port for myself. Maybe we could assimilate them somehow, but I don't know. I don't know this game. So... Influence. No. Access. Ah, alliance defensive league that might make us them like us whatever our opinions being improved maybe I just need to be patient oh maybe I could send them a gift of seven dollars and bump that by 25 all right so let's wait a little bit Lack of a commander. Who doesn't have a commander? Okay. Join with these guys. Um, unused trade routes in the capital. What do I want more of? Something that's probably going to make my armies cheaper. Because we are still losing money. We're still losing money. Our army maintenance is really high. With 15. It outranks the taxes for our whole... Group, actually. And it doesn't look like these guys are taking... Particular places over. They're not occupying places. It looks like they're just... I don't know what they're doing. But they're not occupying places. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to control one of these guys myself. The smaller army myself. Because I'm nervous about that big army. And, hold on, wait. But first, how do I... Cannot move here as the unit lacks access. Why? Why do they lack access? Oh, but I can move my army there. So boats can't go, but armies can go. Can I attack the port? No. Sure, let's go block some hostile coasts with these guys. Okay, so that's lit. So these guys are walking, and these guys are doing their thing. Um, where's that army from before? They're right here. They're walking over. Okay, so they're taking that city over there. These guys are coming over here. It looks like the Etrurians are up here doing their thing. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of money from the conquest. This army just took over the first place, so let's move them along. All right, local tensions. Tensions have been growing between the Roman colonists and locals on Capua. Don't know where that is. The locals claim that our settlers are rejecting local traditions and power structures. Our colonists, on the other hand, claim that the locals are only alarmed because the new Roman settlement is surpassing the existing metropolis of the region. So do we want to support Roman interests? Or... 
Okay, so basically we can support our governor or not. Supporting our governor gives him loyalty, not lowers unrest. I think support the governor. Because the unrest I don't think will be too much of an issue. But anyhow, guys, we've been going on for quite a while now. That's 45 minutes of the struggle bus tutorial of Imperador Rome. Thank you all for sticking with me throughout this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with me or if you liked a little bit of what you saw. If you learned something, I'd appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. All right, guys. Golden Mansa out. I'll see you next time.